Hello, here we are with a quick unboxing and hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy X Cover 3. This is the third generation X Cover device and essentially the X Cover series are a range of tougher phones from Samsung designed to be used outdoors and in the elements a little bit. So this is the official retail packaging, not the most fancy. On the side of the box, we've got a bit of a rundown of the specification. We've got a rugged design. We've got LTE compatibility. We've got a 4.5 inch display, Samsung Knox, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, five megapixel rear camera, two megapixel front camera, 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor and IP67 rated. It's also known as the SMG388F and this is the UK or European model um, however you wish to refer to it as. So if we open up the packaging, we've got the handset itself, which we'll come back to in just a moment. Then included in the box, we have got some documentation, quick start guide there. We then have a set of white in-ear headphones with an inline microphone, 3.5 millimeter jack, we have a USB to micro USB cable there for uh, charging the phone or indeed connecting it to a computer. We then have the user removable battery. And then we have a three pin UK mains adapter. Pop that pin up like that to actually use it. And this rate is rated at one amp. So let's take a look at the device. Okay, so here is the device. So we've got the 4.5 inch touchscreen display here with a resolution of 480 by 800. At the bottom, we've got three physical buttons. Now, they're not capacitive because when you're using this device, you might have wet hands, you might have gloves on, so it makes it a little bit easier. We've got running apps, home and back key. At the top here, we've got the Samsung logo, the earpiece, the uh, sensors, and the front facing two megapixel camera. If we flip it over to the back, we've got the Samsung logo on the back here and up the top we've got the five megapixel camera, the LED flash and the loudspeaker. You can see we've got a textured sort of design there. We've got these ridges which make it a little bit uh, grippy. We can pull off the back cover like so and we can access the battery compartment and the micro SD and SIM card slot here. We can pop in the battery here. It's a 2,200 milliamp hour battery that sits in there. And we can put memory cards in there to accompany the eight gigabytes of internal storage. Now we have to pop the cover on here nice and securely because this is IP rated. So if it's not fitted securely, that uh, won't help the IP rating. And this can be immersed in water at a depth of one meter for 30 minutes. That's fresh water. Uh, but you could use this in the wind and the rain and sand all day long. On the right side of the device, we've got the power button and you can see we've got this plastic that's got this texture to it, which is great for kind of gripping onto. And you can see how we've got the enlarged sort of corners on all four corners. That's to protect it if you should drop it on a surface or anything like that. On the bottom, we've got a microphone and the micro USB port for charging. Notice there's no cover over it, so you can get this wet. It's all specially protected in there. Then on the left side of the device, we've got the volume up and down keys and a function button. I think that might be for using it as a torch or for the camera. And then on the top, we've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack connecting headphones to or any other audio out and you can see how then the texture is continued around the side of the device and we've looked at the back as well so let's power this handset on so it comes with a 24 month warranty it's 154 grams in weight ip67 rated mil spec 810g which means it can be dropped onto concrete from a height of 1.2 meters 3G, 4G, all in here, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all the things you can really expect. And it's an Android handset as well. So you can get uh, all your favorite apps, your social networks and things set up on here very easily. If you're an existing Android user, it's really quite simple. 
And uh, being a Samsung device, there obviously is a level of customization to the software, but it's not as heavy as uh, you may have heard about uh, on other devices, but it's just the Samsung skin to make this a little bit more interesting over stock Android and give you some more features. So you've got standard uh, features such as messaging, contacts, your phone, you've got your apps tray with uh, video player, email, a voice recorder, a file manager, you've got access to Samsung Galaxy apps, you've got an FM radio on here, you've got Google services such as Chrome, Gmail, Google Plus, Play Music, YouTube, Google Drive, Play Store as well there, Voice Search, Hangouts, so lots of options. You've got uh, the ability to customize the way that these apps actually are displayed here. You've got your home screens that you can customize, change the wallpapers, change the widgets, remove them. Scroll down from the top and you've got access to your key settings. Uh, so you can quickly access power saving, mobile data, and you can customize these. You can customize the brightness of the screen here. You get your notifications and we've got the X cover key, which is this button on the side here, this nice little uh, sort of metallic -y blue. And as I said, you can use it uh, for the torch or the camera. So you've got two options. A short press is for the torch. So you'll see there, short press. And if I get a long press, we'll launch into the five megapixel camera here, which is okay for taking uh, some photos and videos. You can change the resolution uh, up like so. You've got more settings here, quite a lot of options actually. Video size, you can go up to 720p in terms of the video recording there. And of course you have the front facing camera as well. So I mentioned you've got eight gig of internal storage here. Let's just see how much is available out of the box. So you've got five gig available, which isn't too bad. And then you've got the option of the micro SD card slot as well. So that's just a quick unboxing and hands-on with the X-Cover 3. We'll be covering this in a full review on the Clove YouTube channel and blog.clove.co.uk. So be sure to check back soon. Thanks for watching.